A lot of slow damage coming off very Phantom Assassin. There's some burst damage. Come back into the Conquer still. That's okay. No, you soggy. You were speaking about that time dilation and hey it can only delay the inevitable as Lion Axe. Now to pick out first. Uh, sorry, the physical damage. Yeah. Da Vinci. Gonna be the target of the first boat of the game. He's got Hater behind him. Not much the Hoodwink can really do is even Stylist is pouncing. Morbid Mask delivered through to my pro. To oh no. Oh, time walk. oh, that's not the place to time walk. They've got Ravage of the Ready as well. Usagi forced to utilize the Rona. ultimate here. Or no lasso. Brightly used, Hated still. Able to land down the ultimate, but they're all enclosed inside the arena. And now with BB Beep's looking dead. to shop as well, Roosman, he doesn't have the damage by himself, but BB's just going to avoid the Phantom Assassin, hoping that Seri can utilize his abilities just to get out to safety. So it will be a one for one trade. He was Demolition. really <laughs> top lane, Seri. It was a uh, arena used with Lion Axe nearby, but Ram's going to try and step in the area, BB. Yeah, but it can't stop the lasso. Lion Axe, he still goes back in, recognizes that. Well, he's inevitably going to drop, so let's just do as much damage as I can on this game time. Seri's just eyeing up three heroes at M11. If he's also going to look to charge in as well. Shadow Blade. And a reveal. And Hoodwink. Mince me. The one value point in the little shredder as well, just to assist with any kind of tower push or that Roche that you're mentioning. Well, they see and Rams down bottom. Oh. Pre BKB as well. And BB's gonna make sure they can keep the Batrider locked inside the Wukong. Should that extra damage they were acquiring. Simultaneously, though, Seri. A ambitious arena usage. You had no more follow on to the T2 tower, so. Seri's gonna be left to dry. Hmm. Yeah, that, that was a little. Ambitious, I think, is the right word to use for that one. Maybe if you had the Snapfire there with the Mortimer's They're Kisses, connecting. Why but... not? And it. down the Ancient Apparition. Now, Lion Axe can use the ultimate as well inside the Chronosphere. They it was all of course, against the uh, PA. Very effective. Oh, Seri! What an opening with the arena. Lion Axe, he doesn't have the ultimate now, though, so it doesn't provide them too much with a jump from Seri. Vinci's still going to be the target. A slam down with one more right click. They've also run into Shiasagi in the river. They're going to be cautious if they group up for the Ravage. Threat that they have Even. to respect. Yeah, I don't think you can ravage at and this stage. And Seri's ran into Hated too. This Observer Ward, it's, it's giving them so much value, Dan. Bottom lane, Stylist. Gotta get caught on top of the trees here. It's like poor old Monkey King. You'd love to oh. give the kill to Roosman. He's gonna dodge this, and what's happening across the map now? Rams. What's the and it's kind of where you want to be, right? Because if the PA is there on her own, then so you can to go for that kill. They're all underneath the ward. BB, oh, that's mass amounts of damage. The Sewer's Edge, along with the TD, gets the battle. Oh, BB. Can't we get, but they're going to smoke up. Hold that thought. And why? Stylus once the ground, again, though. solid positioning. And they're going to get the lasso, of course, onto the Monkey King here. You Usagi with the Ravage in the back line as well. With the guy spot the fly on pass. It'll force BB to use his BKB more defensively. Looks like they're just going <laughs> to feed Usagi away to the wolves. But the use of the break, the Tynanta. I'm going to fill the, uh, the Korea there. But it also will reveal the smoke coming through from MY. So BB is immediately lasso. all going back to M11. They're running to BB. Can they blow him up before the X drag back? Wow, BB does this. I wasn't sure if he was going to think about an Ag Scepter. But the Boomerang, Seri runs into Roosman. Another BKB, but Roosman's got plenty of physical damage along with the level 25. My pro's going to look to stand his ground. The BKB suit to expire, and the Phantom Assassin face checks the Void, and he can't win up. that man fight. Stylus controlling the area. Beautiful Wukong sets up for My pro to join the triangle as they lay it down the Chrono. 
And Stylist is awarded with the double kill, but really... Here. Yeah, as soon as they're trying to take the outpost, Seri. They got Locking it. Locking the tide onto it at close proximity. They still able to get the Ravage off, but there's no follow-up afterwards. So Seri drops. And now... What more can they get out of this, though? And why pursuing on? It's a very disconnected fight. Seri jumping the Batrider, splitting away from his forces. But BB, Ooh. once again, the Tidebringer doing massive amount of damage. And now my Po, thanks to Lion Axe, able to get the combination. Rusman has the tricks to cloak, but he'll soon run into Stylist. This Monkey King has given them so much this game. They have the Chrono and my Pro just holding on to this so we can cancel off the TP. It's a bit awkward of a positioning. The goddamn trees not allowing my Pro to be able to right click through the Chrono. But it's been perfect, man. Really, this entire game and all of the mid game, it's been off the back of Stylist just breaking smoke. Oh, you got to argue on Batrider. See how much that really helps them out. Well, they're going to run into the Batrider, so very defensive use of the BKB. Rams wants to get something out of this. All right. Double lasso sets up for the Rabbit. Usagi's a second one. M11. What a creative way to start the fight. And now BB is forced to man fight. Oh, will with the first life. Stylus nearby. Mona McKiss is getting laid down straight on top of the respawn location. Just maybe giving BB a little bit of breathing room, but they're avoiding the conquer. Roosman starting to focus down the monkey king, but he's in trouble. No BKB to play with and no life as well as Usagi. Just runs the opposite direction, hoping the rest of his team can make it out to safety. But Rams he actually wants to blink back into the middle. He'll force stuff out to the safety of his high gun. Oh, oh Linax again, running into a Vinci. Seri with that previous buyback. 1,300 crit from Amaz as well. Monkey Wukong's down. It's level 25. You got the extra ring. Ram's going to start. Ice Boss follow-up as well. It's a great way to be able to try and bring down the Conker, but my pro coming into safety. Chrono just giving Conker a little bit of breathing room, but he still ends up popping. Seri's going to jump behind the throne. Arena only lands to Hated. The rest of them, why they're on the outskirts here, so they don't really want to fob. You'll see the respect they're giving M11. Just a threat of the potential. Oh, there we go. Double chrono now for my pro. Second use. And that shard, the one to end it all, is MY. They will be able to take our game one here, first series of the night. Solid showing for them. It took some time for them to close out this game. But in the end, the throne will... You don't know if it's Conquer mid or safe lane or Viper mid or safe lane. So now you put the Viper safe lane and you put the Conquer mid. So it gives you that team fight that I was looking for. He's even got the Orb of Venom just for whatever they're looking to walk up. Oh, yes. Well, Although... this, is what, yeah, this is what we were wanting. Hated. Does he have the Blight Zone? Yes, sir, he does. My pro's trying to stand his ground with the poison attacks ramping up. So my pro... Gets first blood. Also will be at a price. There were also other things, like he, he didn't use the tango <laughs> during all of that. Look at this. <laughs> oh, you're soggy. You're going to hate your life. It is just dead. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this year is so dumb. Oh, my God. They've got I mean, three they chose slows. This. They chose it. <laughs> None forget the bite. You made this change in it. Yeah. Like that is one of the big counters that you think of. Although, my pro is starting to take a little bit of damage now. Good timing coming through from the level two, though. Yeah, but look from at this. <laughs> He's probably going to die. Oh, oh my pro. Hate it standing his tango. ground. He's got a fair fire on the hoodwink. They're going to go back now with a gush. My pro, a couple more right clicks, and the hoodwink's able to get it behind the tree line. Lion Axe, so he wants to do it on his lonesome. He's got a fire blast up in a couple of seconds. He might even get hated. I think he will, Lion Axe. Alrighty. The Ogre soon to be level three. Push a little bit more because, I mean, again, this is one of those oh, mid -lane. situations mid lane. First boat usage, Rams. Great use of the wind runs, able to reposition. And then why they do have extra reinforcements looking to show up. The damage somewhat lacking, so hated. Oh, he actually ticks out to the Ignite. Line You're level the three hours as well. And and Rams is playing off the back of getting these pickoffs as my pro. Speaking about pickoffs, uh, a Viper Strike onto Hater, but they have to be cautious of their positioning. This Just is look at the pin shot. If they can catch out my pro, Rams gonna be able to fulfill all the damage requirements that they have, and BB's actually gonna cancel his TP, so 
thing. Yeah, they made the call that my pro investment by any means. All right, so I can use this new shop to look up armor items. What oh, mid lane? Oh, it's going to use solo onto Yusagi. He's like, guys, please, man, just give me anywhere. I he's begging. Please, may I have some farm? I'm poor. Poor old Hayden's I mean, even going to. Would Would you hate seeing a blade mail? Again, I think. Yeah. He's got a Vinci standing hand in hand. They're pretty close to the T2 tower, but they're taking a fight in series domain, so now they have the darks here for a fight to break out. Ooh. Ravage clipping all four, but the damage, that's the big old question. They have absolutely none. As MY stand their ground, they'll chase down Yusagi simultaneously. They get a kill on her Vinci as well. It's a nice Ravage, yeah, but they- Pilots, you Oh, this Monkey King hero is just so crazy when you play it in this role. Oh, that's a pretty good bushwhack. But now the oh. Wukongs... Oh, that is I'm perfect location. What do you do? Do you run back into the Wukongs or do you run into the heroes of MY? It's a disaster with any place. As they're souling down the Templar Assassin, this is going to get burnt out to the damage over time. And now Rams as well, trying to kill off my pro, but... He's got so much net worth as my pro can stand his ground, and I feel like we can firmly say this is a draft victory. Is MY continuing to pursue on for more? They're just eyeing up Hayden, pursuing him through the tree line. A four yeah. to take it. And my pro, sorry, stylist is higher level than everyone except for the TA on M11. Like, that is how good of a game, again, he's having. Oh, solar used on Usagi. It was just for the vision, I think. That they'll get. Quick in and out from Stylus. There's Tidehunter. It's getting melted, and they won't have the Ravage for the further fight. He's even going to look to buy back. They're targeting it down my pro at the moment, but still the Viper. They're not even going to be able to kill him as the Ravage is dropped, but the damage follow-up. It's only onto the Monkey King. The rest of MY able to stand their ground off the back of the mechanism heal. So we're one for two, and buyback from the tide, you lose the wind range, you're back in now from BB's combination, diving a tier two tower, a Templar assassin, their only real hope back in this game is getting body blocked into oblivion, as BB once again, the double damage run with the cleave, another game where BB's conquer is godlike, and... Yep. Wow. Yep. They're gonna call it quits, M11, this is an elimination match as well, and... 17 minutes in and they're like, yep, Die. we've had